So I thought I'd have a quick sake off in Zara to see if there's any festive wear worth getting. Fab black satin dress with beautiful Dumonti on it. Slit. Now, this is the big thing. What size did you got to? XL only, which is going to be like a 12, 14. Come on, Zara. It's a sort of polar neck, green, forest green, silk top. The small is big, so I think it would fit lots of sizes. Love to love this because it's sequin and deep red and it's got a beautiful sleeve. But I tried it on and this neckline, like if you have boobs, it might not get down to your décolleté. Just not sure about the décolleté. It's going to be a little bit high and then I think I don't think that flattering. Have a go wrong with a pair of earrings. Gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Encrusted loveliness. 15 quid. Great uh, present for someone. Black and white dress. Little collar. Two buttons. I mean two pockets. Shirt dress, nice sleeve. I don't know why it's called the Emile dress, but anyway, nice length. Probably my favorite thing at the moment in Zara because it's this beautiful um, sleeve. It comes extra small to XL. I think I've got small. It's very short-waisted though, but it's such a fab sequin top. The cut is beautiful. The navy is delicious. The shoulder is good, but it's gonna crease so much. Really nice cashmere, like three ply. Drop shoulder, beautiful grey, £179. This is definitely not in all the Zaras. Oh my god, what is that? This might be a pussy pelmet dress, but I would so buy it as a top. This is the size M and it goes up to XL. Cream macrame crochet three-quarter length sleeve coat. A delusional moment, but there's something I love about this jumper. Got a weird sleeve. Everything is about the neck, and then the sleeve just appears, but something I find really cool about it. Yes, no? I am staggered by how much Zara are inspired by other brands. This is literally my Victoria Beckham navy sequin shirt in red. If you like red, it's really, really nice. There is nothing wrong with it. I've got my shoulder pads in underneath, which gives it another dimension. But kind of firm. And I think it will ball really quickly, but kind of firm. Shocking pink cardigan. Oh yes. You can't get the full benefit of it now, but I think I have to do this for Friday 20 because it's such a fab dress. So it's like, like this and you do it up and there's, it's like it turns into that skirt and, dre and top. It's so fab. Over trousers so fab just worth it. When I was in New York, I got a Marnie shirt in a secondhand store and I found what is nearly identical here. So, like that. The sleeves aren't so long. Tuck it in. I think I'm wearing it front to back. Stretchy here, so if you're feeling a bit claustrophobic, you just go boom and put it back. <laughs> so pretty. The back like that. That's probably the front. I've done it the wrong way around. What I love about this plain black coat is the shape is like an evening, slightly opera coat. Three quarter length sleeve. But look at that really pretty Demonte button and then two here. Very nice coat. And it's not in the expensive section, I don't think. Oh, it is quite, sorry, 109 pounds. Behind the scenes, I have my little rail here. People keep coming up after me and talking to me, but anyway, it's fine. But then Lily is so patient, waiting down here for me to finish. Oh, little see Bubba. Everyone's admiring you, darling. Last couple of things, really pretty earrings, love heart earrings. I always get love heart earrings, so I never have enough of them. And that, which I saw online and then I just saw over something. This could be a slither of golden Demonte something. 
Um, God, I go out of such a love hate with Zara. And there's things here today that I think, God, it's great, but why are they waiting till the 10th of December, or whatever day we are, to bring them in the shop? I mean, this is what we would have liked in September, October, when I only saw teenagers' bloody clothing. Ugh. Rare in Zara to get a good jumper, really good jumper, which looks designery, unless it's cashmere. But this, you can't see, but I got a jumper like this years ago, which is like it's been painted on the gold. And then it just goes out in the color. It's a weird beige, which is not me, but if you're a blonde, I think it's a fair temper. I love that the way it cuts a bit of shimmer. Really nice. I'm finally feeling Christmassy in Stukeyot Square. Little music playing a Christmas song. In a jazz like fashion. Anyway. And I did a shop up for Zara, which finally arrived today. Look how much colour is on my rail. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to try some things on, starting off with this underwear came with one of the outfits, which is uh, this outfit or the others, but just about that sort of, you know, sheerness. Oh, my Lord. So this is number one, which is a sort of sheer dress with slits up the side. And, you know, it's got the black underwear underneath. And I'm just thinking, what... But where do I wear it with? I mean, I could wear a high heel, but I'm just gonna try it first with a sort of black boot. And we can just see what does that look like if I had a black boot underneath. Ooh, hang on, I can't get all the way up like that. So black boot, little slip still, like I wear black tights, but you get the gist. Not as bad as I thought, apart from the pants go to my hips, so it doesn't look flattering. In a way, I need to hoik them up, right up to my waist, and then I might get a bit of a VPL moment on the side. Something good about it. Also, bloody hell, it has pockets. Whoa, woo woo. This coat came, and this coat actually, I saw ages ago because we put it on some people when we did that Zara kind of shop up with a Trini try. And it's actually a beautiful coat. Much better for me when I got makeup on and no frizzy hair. It's kind of shapeless. I've got on a small, it's very comfortable. It's got pockets. It's silk and then tweed, and then there's a little pretty pearl button. So there's something interesting about it as that floppy long coat that you wear day to night. Next up is this kind of fake leather coat. And I really think for the right person, it could be quite chic. It doesn't smell too plastic, but the um, style is really elegant and the length is good, but I like the length. And I think it's a very, very cool coat. Like that, yeah. Why do they bring all these things out so late? I did a Zara order and we're looking for Friday twinning, but it might be that it's fancy dress, but who hasn't at some stage wish to be Catwoman? Catwoman meets Batman. This is an interesting one because um, this is a really high waisted velvet skirt. I think it's genius and you can wear it one of two ways. If you're a young thing with lots of like confidence, you could literally wear that black a black sort of, you know, bustier thing if your boobs aren't popping out. My boobs are literally popping out this with this velvet jacket on top, which I just think is super cool and sophisticated and maybe a necklace like that. I've got boots underneath, but for the right person, that could be very good, all right? But if you're not that kind of person, which I'm definitely not, this really short top which I showed you earlier in the movies from when I went shopping and I ordered online ah come on we're in a rush we're in a rush top so can we just get on with it um works really well over this thing because you have no tummy showing and then I could put the jacket on top and just have it like that over my shoulders but you know oh I wish they had these ages ago and not like two and a half weeks before Christmas but anyway I think these are good good items so that's it I only you know I do Zara because at the weekend I haven't got much time and I'm meeting Lila so it's the closest store to me and that's why I do it lots of you DM me and say can you do all these other stores but my main day job is not going shopping <laughs> even though you might think it is but it's just you're all craving party wear and I went in there and I found lots so I want to share it anyway hope you enjoyed the film <laughs>